spent my first night up on Springer Mountain trying to talk low because there's still some people up in the shelter. And I just want to show you guys what I'm waking up to. where I'm going to fill up on my water. Cute little stream. Right here on top of Springer Mountain. And I'll show you how I do that. Hey guys, I spent the night at Springer Mountain and I stayed there with a couple army guys, a couple uh, guys, a fireman. I have a picture of them. I'll put that up. They were all really nice. And we were in with a rail, um, a ridge runner. Um, they are people that either get paid or volunteer on the trail just to kind of check in with hikers and make sure everyone's being safe and following the leave no trace practice pack it in pack it out i'm going to show you a little bit what i'm doing now I'm, i have a quarter of a mile to the springer plaque and then today will officially be day one <laughs> and then I will start north and I'm gonna try to make it to Hawk Mountain where the rest of the people that I camped with last night are gonna go supposed to go so we'll see let me show you a little bit of a trail So, up here, all alone in the wilderness. <laughs> I was laying in bed last night. Well, laying in my sleeping bag. I don't know. The camera doesn't do it justice, but this is all uphill. And I'm going to get off here soon because I'm probably going to start to huff and puff. Well, I already am, but. Um, yeah, I haven't seen any animals, no squirrels, no birds, it's actually kind of weird, it's kind of cool tree stump, and the trail is pretty much all like <coughs> up rocks, and this is so uphill. But, so, I'm going to probably end this video, I'll call it day zero. I traveled on the train, got my shuttle, made it to Springer Mountain. I'm going 
to the official start of the AT right now and I guess that's where the fun begins. I don't know. Alright. It's kind of weird. I have absolutely no fear out here. I thought I'd be like really afraid, but I'm not. It's very weird. But I'm loving it and I'll take it. It's a beautiful day, but it's supposed to rain later. So I have all my rain gear neatly stacked away. So let's get going. So that's the way I came from and I made it up to the very first white blaze at the southern terminus. And this is what I walked out to. And I know the camera is not going to do it any justice. But it's beautiful. But we got some hiking to do. Let's go. So right in this big brack here on this mountain, there you go. It's like a little mini bald mountain. We have the Southern Terminus plaque. And then that little drawer right there. We'll open that up. And the hiker log. So I'll sign my name in that and it will be official. Okay, officially started the AT. This is what the side of the trail looks like. This is pretty much what I'll be doing all day. You're looking at it. Right. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it best, but I'll show you where we're going. So going down this trail, through those trees, going up and over Hawk Mountain. So that's where I stopped last night, up on top of that mountain. Came down, and now, nice little flat walk here. So pretty. Mountain. Okay, on to Hawk Mountain. Let's see what this day has in store for us.
where I came from. That's where I'm going. We have the most beautiful little waterfall here. Nestled away in all these little And across this little thing. Slippery. So pretty. And this spooky log right here. It's kind of spooky. I will, I'm glad I wasn't here when this fell. <laughs> spooky. I was hiking with two very nice gentlemen who are doing a, a section hike. Um, the one gentleman was older and he was teasing the younger guy about waiting for the geriatric section. And I didn't realize <laughs> that he had included me in that group. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> nice little stealth camping site down there. Okay, we gotta climb. Um, I don't know. Less than a thousand feet elevation. I have about... Maybe four more miles to go. If I make it all the way up to Hawk Mountain Shelter, it will have been a 10 mile day. We'll see. <laughs> it's not the pack that's heavy. I made a last minute decision to switch out my Merrells for the Hoka's. And I think I might have made a mistake. I don't know. They're comfortable, but they're slippery. So. Give it a couple days and see how I feel. Get, the, get my Merrells sent out to me if I have to. 
All right. We're going to go up this path and then up there. Okay. See you soon then. So, for those of you that don't know, this is what's referred to as the Green Tunnel on the AT. It's all these rhododendron trees, bushes that kind of create a pretty little tunnel overhead. I imagine that it's awesome when you're hiking later in the year, provide a lot of shade for the sun. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, very pretty. Looking for the white blaze. It's very easy to get turned around and mixed up. Like when I stopped at the shelter earlier for lunch, I um, wasn't sure how to get back on trail because I didn't really pay attention as much as I should have. But, luckily for me, a father and son from the Boston area came and had a snack and they headed up back onto the trail, so I just followed them. And this is so thick in here. This is crazy in here. I don't know what's lurking up in these mountains up in here. I don't know what's lurking up in these mountains up in here. <laughs> I've only been hiking alone for a couple of hours. I'm already talking to myself. Oh, I hear a plane. I haven't heard anything similar. Benton McKay Trail. Okay. So, here we go. I'm still on the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> Didn't get lost yet. Saw where, back there a little while ago, before one of those treacherous little water crossings that I couldn't get on video because it was just too treacherous. I almost took a dump in the drink. But... Um, yeah, it was uh, very rocky. All right, I imagine that looking at a bunch of trail is pretty boring for some people, so I'm gonna wait until I see something worth noting. I hear like, I hear a big waterfall. Oh, I see a car. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what's going on. Oh, there's people down here. All right. So, one white blaze lets you know it's the Appalachian Trail. And there's another one right on top of it. You can go straight ahead. And this is our biggest river crossing yet. But lucky for me, they have a little bridge. Oh, oh my gosh. This is what it's all about. Oh, yeah. That's what it's all about. Now, in my crazy head, I'll stand here for an hour looking for trout. Trout love that cold water, but I'm not going to do that. This is just beautiful. This is like the most beautiful spot that I've come along so far since the beginning of Springer Mountain. Absolutely gorgeous. 
But we got a mountain to climb. Okay. Um, I think I think we got this way. Yep, there's the white blaze. See? White blaze is on the tree. Follow that. Uh. So we have like a little dirt road here. Somewhere down here in Georgia. And I guess people come back here for day hikes or whatnot. So. Home Creek Falls. That's the waterfall that I'm told is not to be missed. So we'll see. It's off trail. I don't know how far off trail. I'll have to look at my app. But <laughs> this is so pretty. Hiking. Pretty sure the trail's trying to kill me at this point. Hold on. <laughs> this is straight up. I know that you can't really see it. Yeah. Tuck in there. But straight up, I gotta keep taking little breaks. But I don't mind these little breaks. Nice waterfall down there. Yeah, this is uh this is true mountain climbing guys. Oh my god. So one of the techniques or one of the skills that I used to teach when I was a social worker was to stay in the moment. Which means to concentrate on where you are at the moment. And the way I do that is when you're riding a bike uphill, it definitely is not fun, especially when you're looking at the top of the hill going, oh my God, I gotta get all the way up there. But if you stop focusing on how high the top of the hill is, how hard of a climb it's gonna be, and just focus on the ground beneath your feet, one step at a time, then obviously you're going to make it. If I don't have a myocardial infarction before then. And that's okay, it's all good. So I take little breaks on the uphills. Try not to talk too much on the uphills. This is very uphill. You can't really tell on the on the camera but I'm using my trekking poles behind me to kind of catapult me up and I'm just climbing Hawk Mountain alright Like two and a half miles to go. Holy mother of God. I am three quarters of the way through with Hawk Mountain. This is no joke. This is no joke. But 
I'm having the time of my life. Focusing on nothing but the ground below my feet, my water intake, and I know I said this before, but I am going to sleep good tonight. You know, we're all in the beginning of the, the hike. All these people, you know, that I pass, that pass me, start on Springer Mountain and, you know, most of them are going to Maine and, you know, I'll get to Maine. It's not going to be, it's not going to be this trip, but I, I'll get to Maine. I just, it's so beautiful. I always get excited when I see a little downhill, but then I know when I'm going to the top of Hawk Mountain, if there's a downhill, there's definitely an uphill. Decided to do a little blue blazing. I am, um, came off the AT for a minute to take this blue blaze trail around to something that is supposed to be pretty spectacular. Holy shit. I'm gonna talk now because you're probably not gonna be able to hear me up here. This is a massive waterfall. Oh. <laughs> Again, this is what it's all about. So I'm definitely happy I decided to come off the Blue Blaze and check this out. I wish it was later in the year I would go swimming right there. And I could really use a high powered hydro massage right now, but I'm sure the water is pretty cold. So those mountains are way up high. This is what the terrain looks like. There were a couple people up here. I guess this is a little tourist attraction. I'm glad that I'm glad that there's not a lot of people up here. I just had a little snack and I guess I'll head back up to the AT and head on next stop Hawk Mountain. Time to put the pack back on. Feeling a little like a pack mule about now. 
right. Day one, three quarters of the way done. Hmm. Still climbing Hawk Mountain. Deep ravine there. Took a little break here. All right, still climbing. Moving a little slower than I normally do, but then again, this terrain is like harder than, I can only think of one harder hike that I did, and that was White Oak Canyon and Cedar Falls in, uh, in the Shenandoah wilderness when we went back to the natural water slide back there. Um, that was a killer, <laughs> literally. But I don't know, the grade on this, on this ascent was pretty tough, but now it's, we're pretty flat now. So I'm happy about that, but something tells me we're going up there. <clears throat> so many interesting things to see interesting tree formations rock formations and Except for leapfrogging this one young gentleman and his wife's uncle. He's elderly, that man. Well, older than me. The geriatric club. Um, I think I've only seen like... Oh, there was one other... Um, there was a through hiker. He was from another country. Um, he whizzed by me. <sighs> All right, put this away until hopefully we get to the top of Hawk Mountain. Two miles never seemed so far with this pack on my back. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. <sighs> I knew it was too good to be true. We are going up there. I see it now. <sighs> Every once in a while I bang a tree so no bears come. But yeah, hoping that, well, I think there's gonna be quite a few people at Hawk Mountain, which will be nice because I really don't wanna sleep alone. But, if I have to, I will, because guess what? <sighs> Came to the realization a couple months ago. I am alone. The kids are 19 and 17, and my older one is 29, and... My parents are older. I am not married. No longer in a relationship. And I have some pretty good friends. But in all essence, And alone and in this world so this this journey is just showing me that no matter how alone I am in this world as long as I keep putting one foot in front of the other then 
I will survive. I mean, I'm, I already know I'm a survivor. Ooh, I wonder what lives in there. That's pretty cool. Bet something cool lives in there. I want to go find out. I'm a... All right, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the trail's down there. Came up here. And this is fucking straight up. Like, it's not, the camera does it no justice. Straight up. Motherfucker. Let's go. So, I'm in my tent. Got everything ready. Got my merino wool on. Merino wool on. some dinner. I'm going to charge my phone. I actually have some service up here. Hot mess. I got all the wet stuff outside. Put the tent up in the pouring rain. What do I have over here? Let me show you. Alright. I got my bear spray right next to my head. First, I'm gonna take a big old dummy to eat, and I can go to bed. Oh God! Please don't let it rain tomorrow. Thank God, tomorrow is all down. All right. See you in the morning.